Okay, it's going to boot into my recovery console. Ah, focus. Okay, asking me for my keyboard layout. Okay, use recovery tools that can help fix problems starting Windows. Well, I don't want to repair it. I want to restore it using a system image that I created earlier. Now, why this isn't coming up? <coughs> well, because it's running off the DVD. Come on. Can't click on that until that's done. There we go. Next. Scanning for the disk image. That's the one I want to use. I do not want to format that or my flash drive or my backup disk. <clears throat> and it says the uh, Fujitsu disk one is already excluded as it contains the system image to be restored. And I do not want to format any of those. I just want to format the Western Digital 500 gig disk. So we'll click OK and Next. That's what I want to restore and Next. All disks to be restored will be formatted and replaced with layout and data in the system image. Are you sure you want to continue? Let's see if it does it. It does not. It does not. The same exact screen that I got before, uh, before formatting the drive manually, before changing the um, computer name. I changed the computer name to the computer name that was on the image with all correct login information. And it says the system image restore failed. No disk can be used for recovering the system disk can be found. Well, it's there. Definitely is. It's the standard thing I got before. And we could try it again select a system image this time there is the six there is the image and there is the correct computer name yeah it does see it it does see the system image I click next I click next exclude those items and the same thing. So, system image recovery in Windows 7 does not work.